Hey, I just gotta say it. Usually I ignore it. I ignore the bum, but <laughs> I couldn't help it. This nigga so desperate. He been talking about me for the last few days. I don't talk about him. I don't give a shit about him. He telling folks my goddamn car reaper's ass. But I'm sleeping in my car at the same time. So my, I'm sleeping in my car, but my car got repossessed. What is he telling people? It's just, it's sad, bro. You need to let it go. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, pussy. Anyway, he um he had replayed a video with me and, with me and my homeboy. We was out in the yard just talking shit. And we'd always sit around and talk shit about each other. And um, and then the funniest part when we talking shit about each other, I it never get caught on camera. So a lot of times we be talking shit, I just cut the camera on. So we been sitting the last hour talking about beating each other up. We playing and stuff. So the bomb, he gonna make a video talking about something. I got punked out again. And I got punked out with Wolf. Nigga, you got the, you got the, you got the voice record. When I call, I call Wolf. I said, Wolf, what's happening? I said, Wolf, I'm, I was like, Wolf, I'm tired of you, bitch. I said, we live in the same town, nigga. Let's meet up, let's fight. Try to get nigga some respect. You know, you ain't gonna take, you ain't gonna take my kindness and try to play me. So, that was the thing with Wolf. Wolf didn't pump me, never. Wolf can't. Anyway, the bomb is, <laughs> man, you need help. You so lonely up there. How cold is it right now in Michigan? What's it, what's it, what, how cold is Alabama right now? It's 57 degrees, and it feel like it's not 70. So you down there freezing in that, in that basement. You ain't getting no pussy. You got one piece of pussy in the last four years. Yeah, come to find out you raped that bitch. You raped the bitch. Huh? You a fucking rapist. How L.A. punking me? This nigga stupid. He is a fucking bomb. It's the thing. What up, Mika? Darian? Maurice? Edward? I'm just chilling, though. I'm going to give me an oil change in my repossessed car, though. But this nigga so stupid. He, yeah, I call him a bomb. He is a fucking bomb. And I don't talk about him no every day. So you get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I don't talk about that nigga no every day. I give a fuck about that pussy. But I will watch the video. And I'm going to tell you something, bum. You got me through that. Um, I got I got, I got, I got a treadmill between 15 and 20 minutes. So I did like 19 minutes of treadmill a day, right? So you got me through my through my treadmill with that video. And the only reason I watch your video because it was me and my homeboy. I made myself laugh. It ain't you. I'm, a, I'm chilling, bro. Just, just hitting this gym. Just hitting this fucking gym. I got tired of this. Got tired of sitting around. Got tired of wasting away. And I and for the, I be, I've been out, I've been out work for the last four months. And I be thinking, I said, man, I could I could have made a lot of gains in four months, four straight months. But anyway, I ain't want to go to gym. Where the first month or so, I really couldn't go to gym because of my broken tailbone. Then I didn't want to go get photographed. I said, man, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I, I, I ain't I ain't crippled for life. I already took my, I already, I already, I, I'm hurt. It's documented. I got hurt in Chicago. I took x-rays in Chicago. And the x-rays showed I was hurt. I got back to Mobile and it was still show I was fucked up. So I ain't got to pretend. So I just got tired of sitting around wasting away. So I, I started going to gym. Shit, fuck it. Well, and, and Planet Fitness, you, you they wear a mask. You got to wear a mask when you're walking around. Now, if you just actually be on the, on the machine, you don't have to. But this is the thing about it too. When you're in the gym, most, most people who go to the gym is not really uh, sickly. Most people who go to the gym is like kind of healthy. So I don't really worry about catching COVID and then everybody spray shit down. You, man, in the gym, everything gets sprayed down. Even before, even before COVID, people spraying shit down. So I'm not really worried about that as far as COVID. But um, yeah, man, I, I, I was... um. That, yep, yeah, that too, cause like what had happened, what had happened was, I, you know, I, I, had, I had started going to the gym because like my, um, even like, all right, my, my A1C, it was like nine, I think. Your A1C is supposed to be five, it was like nine. So, okay, then my blood pressure was kind of like, kind of high and shit. And then what else? It's something else that was going on. I said, fuck it, I'm going to go to the gym. Within two weeks, my A1C dropped to like seven. So, my blood pressure back to normal, all that shit. So, I just thought about going to the gym, make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it just make you feel good hitting that hit the gym. So, um, I said, fuck it, I'm going to work out, man. I'm not going to sit around here and waste away like that. They better have my fucking money, though. 
for the lawsuit. I want my fucking money. He better, he better come on with that shit. Anyway, I was just sitting up there looking at this bomb, though. I was sitting there looking at this bomb. Yes, eight was well, seven is average, I guess, but I think normal is five. I think normal eight one C is five. But anyway, like I say, I, I dropped my eight one C by by two points just in two weeks from hitting the gym and shit. And then, like I say, I, I don't take all that medication because she had put me on some kind of blood pressure meds and shit. I'm like, I don't want to take that shit. But my blood pressure was kind of high and it wasn't going nowhere. I started pumping that iron, and guess what? Well, this is the thing about when you work out. When you work out, it actually regulates your appetite. Like when you were eating big, I can't eat a big meal. That shit make me feel real sluggish. So I think when you working out, when you working out, if you don't eat enough, it'll make you eat. Like when I first started working out, I was I started eating like a, like a I eat like a horse. I would eat all the time a day, and that's something else. I was fasting too. I was doing intermittent fasting and shit. It's like when you eat like it was like a, a four or six hour window at the day to eat, and then you don't eat again for like eighteen hours. But I was fasting, but I was I was still gaining weight. I said fuck that. But my A one C was going down. But I'm like okay, I'm gaining weight. So I hit the I hit them I hit the gym and shit. Well, like I say, working out can lower your blood pressure too. I'm good now. My, my, my blood pressure normal and my A1C is almost normal. So, shit. So, what I might do, I would think, I say, I might just get me. Well, no, Tazo, at first I was doing push ups. I was doing like about 80 push ups a day and shit. It might, it might have been muscle. I don't know. But on top of that muscle, my, my blood pressure was still high and shit. So like I say, I hit the, I hit the gym, I go see my, my doctor and shit. I say, okay, your A1C went down and all that. And they just say, um, so she said, well, I'm gonna put you on um, high blood. Give me a take, yeah, I, 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 I was like, I ain't taking that shit. But I said, yeah, give it to me. I ain't gonna take it though, I don't need to. I think, I think I'm just cool. But like I was saying, when I got in the gym, Kirby, because you got me through um uh, my you got me through my, my my the last part of my work at that treadmill is the hardest part because I it's, it's boring. The treadmill is kind of boring. So I listened to that video that you posted about me. I don't really listen because it was me, nigga. Your your best videos come when you stream other people's shit. You stream my shit. So they'll tell you you ain't got no fucking talent, pussy. So I got Taz over here. What I might do, Taz, I've been thinking about doing another video exposing on um, pussy wood grain to the world. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they don't they don't know what a pussy he is. They don't know this nigga got AIDS. They don't know the nigga fuck trannies. His wife left him and she eating pussy and dressing. They don't know the nigga take bath with his daughter. So I'm I might, and, and I don't make me do it. That nigga made a video mad and shit talking about me. <laughs> he said, hey man, Monty cooked you. Like, who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck about Monty talking about me on video, but he give a fuck about me because this bitch ass nigga here begging for donations. He need that shit. I don't need no fucking donations. This nigga talking about his mama left him a lot of money. If your mama left you so much money, why'd you pimp your mama out on live video for donations? Why you you basically wrote you basically made a skit about your mama? I'm like, this nigga's stupid. Your mama ain't left you no fucking money. If y'all had so much money. Because if your mom got all that kind of money, the insurance would pay for somebody to wipe her ass. Why you had to wipe your mama ass on her, in her last days, nigga? Y'all ain't got no fucking money coming, bitch. But I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm save that for when I do feel like talking about this pussy ass, nigga. But LA, man, give it up, man. Don't nobody give a fuck about you and what you talking about over there, man. You sad. You lonely. You sad and blue. Like this song, I'm feeling sad and blue. You feeling sad, you blue, you your kids, but you don't give a fuck about your kids. So I can't even talk about Michelle taking the kids away. Michelle left. The only reason you care about Michelle leaving, you didn't love Michelle. You, you needed Michelle to survive. Michelle left, the kids gone. You ain't get no pussy. You ain't had no pussy. This real talk, people. LA hadn't had no pussy since 2016. Michelle had stopped fucking him and she was cheating on him at, at, with guys at her job. That's on my mama. That's on my daughter. That's on everything. She was cheating on him with niggas at her job. Okay? So that's 2016. Just this year, he fucked Tiffany. And now that we know the first piece of pussy hacker, every every woman, every every woman in LA uh come across, he gotta put on camera. Look at Miss Khan, y'all. Miss Khan ain't getting no pussy. 
She just she smoked his weed and, 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 and curbed his ass. Then he fucked Tiffany and then come to find Tiffany and say he raped her. He raped her. But this nigga supposed to be giving out game, real game. Real game radio manhood. Listen, <laughs> this nigga's a rapist, man. This nigga's a beta male, incel rapist. But anyway, LA, I just want to tell you, bro, you you a desperate ass little bomb. Uh, keep making videos. I'm not gonna be going back and forth with you because you just you suck, bro. A matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna stop making videos on this channel. Period. I'm gonna go to my, my let's talk about the channel. I'm gonna talk about this subject. The shit I like to talk about. I'm gonna talk about the shit I like to talk about. So LA, you keep making videos about me. Keep lying, but I got punked. You know damn well I ain't get punked because the motherfucker, nigga. I'm the one told you to record this shit. I said, I said, I said, I said, let me record this shit here. This whole ass nigga lying, telling people he punked me out in the warehouse. That nigga ain't punked me out. Let me call this motherfucker. I'm tired of him. I'm sick of this motherfucker. And so, like, I, 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 I had, I had to say, hey, man, what's, what's your fucking problem? Like, what's your fucking problem? So that's me getting punked out. And me call the nigga up who's lying and shit. Like, I punk Kevin out. Nigga ain't punked me out. And I'm telling this nigga, I'm telling nigga, he, cause he, uh, matter of fact, what happened is, uh, Honduran Uncle Tom, he got mad and he started instigating between me and, uh, motherfucking Wolf. So Wolf grabbed the phone for him, like, hey, this Wolf talking, man. So I said, bitch, call me, motherfucker. So I said, if you want to, we can meet up. I said, well, bitch, let's, let's meet up. He didn't want to meet and fight. I'm like, bitch, you the one talking about, it. you know how to box. And Wolf a big ass nigga, Wolf by my size. He might be a couple of years older than me. I don't know. He, he look older than me because a lot of niggas, they don't take care. They said they drinking. He like a drinker. But he, he said, you claim you know how to box. We in the same weight class. Nigga, let's meet up and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you who you've been playing with. I said, you take my kindness for weakness. I try to show you respect as a black man, as a, as a captain, because a lot of people, when they are offshore, a lot of black men, they, they get disrespected. Because they, they, a lot of people, they don't want to see no black man as a captain. So the little respect I show you, you want to try to play me, bitch? I said, Let, let's meet up, motherfucker. Let's throw them things, and we're going to see who the punk is. And when we get through, I'm coming back out. I'm telling everybody I whoop this nigga ass behind Walmart. Or we go to a gym, boxing, whatever you want to do. Because I ain't. you say I ain't going to box you. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. I'm going to suplex your motherfucking ass to concrete. Fuck a boxing. But I'm whooping your ass. He ain't want, he ain't want to do that. And that shit in the recording. So you listen to recording, tell me where I got pumped. Play the recording, LA. Play the recording today, pussy. Oh, I, I was going to say that. And then he got pumped about, yeah, he got, um, this is water. This is ice water. What you talking about? It's ice water. Just because you see a cup like this, it don't mean it's motherfucking soda in here, bro. And then on top of that, you see motherfuckers with styrofoam cups. They be sipping on scissor. So what is you talking about? Niggas always saying some dumb shit. Niggas always saying some fucking dumb shit, bro. Niggas always got some stupid shit to say. Damn, I overshot where I was trying to go. It's okay. It's okay. I think I overshot. Yeah, I did overshoot where I was trying to go. Yeah, like I say, though, man, niggas ain't shit, bro. So the bomb till I got punked out, it's healthy, it's made by healthy as yours is. Look, 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 Ron, you not a personal trainer. You not a, uh, a dietitian. Don't ask me about my diet, bro. I can see if you like one of the people who listen to my videos who's not a hater, but you be on that fuck shit. So don't worry about my fucking diet, okay? I'm drinking water, pussy. I'm drinking water. Yeah, Chaos put all his business out there. He and he, he, he gave a, a whole hour and a half interview. And then he told LA, nigga, if you say one thing about me and my wife, I'm showing up to your mama house and I'm whooping your ass. That nigga didn't say shit. He made a Facebook video or saw a so-called Facebook roast. Now LA can roast when he wanna roast. And this is a nigga you know personally. So LA that should have been a, a fire ass video. That, that was the weakest roast video I ever seen in my life. That's how scared he was, man. That weak ass roast video. <laughs> what was the internal video on chaos? And you still ain't cooking yet. Yeah, chaos said, nigga, come say it in my face. And then D Lo punked his ass out. D Lo said, hey, man, this nigga's a child molester. Fuck him. I'm saying it. And then 
And then on top of that, D-Lo told that nigga, he said, hey, man, you know what? When I come back to Ben Harbor, I'm whooping your ass. That nigga heard up and started trying to be friends again. Now, that nigga a pussy, bro. Then, don't forget, I punked him out. When I was driving trucks, I was in Ben Harbor. I, I, I posted the shit on video. I was in Ben Harbor. This nigga called the fucking police on me. What the fuck? Trust me, I got punked. Bitch, please. Even if I did get punked out by a wolf, which that never happened, I punked your ass out. I punked you out, little bitch. Yo, faggot ass. <laughs> I punked your pussy ass out. Stupid bitch. Stupid ass pussy. That nigga dumb as hell, man. I don't know what to say about this pussy, man. But um, like I said, I'm just up here in my, in my, my little repossessed automobile, driving around, looking for, uh, looking for prostitutes, huh? Oh, what happened to white girl to my girl? I, I don't I don't really fuck with white girls like that. I I I, I talk to them and I flirt with them. In my younger days, I fuck I fuck the dog shit out of a white girl. But I don't really fuck a white girl like that because I don't have time. I don't have time for the disrespect. The whole time I'm talking to her, 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 her daddy, that nigga like he about 85 years old. Little little bitty ass short motherfucker. Tell you he remind me of the little short motherfucker he's in, in the Italians. I think he's Italian. He's like a little short ass Italian man. Motherfucker, look at me mugging me. And on the video, I said, look here, man. I, 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 let, me, let me cut this video short. Your daddy me mugging me. A lot of white men, they can't stand to see their daughters on a black. And his daughter, his daughter wanted his dick real bad. His daughter was his daughter was all for this dick. Now, he knew he knew his daughter wanted his dick, and that shit made him mad. But I told him, fuck you. Now, I, I, I would have fucked her just off GP if she was fine, but she wasn't fine. Now, if she was a sexy bitch, I, I would have fucked her. I would have fucked her and got her ass pregnant just, just for a dad to really be having something to hate on. For him to really be mad. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know yeah, you know, her, her daddy knew. Her daddy knew what the fuck it was. But I didn't want that pussy. Like I say, I would she just saw me. And we just it, I'ma tell you about a place like Mobile. I had a friend from the military. He was from Iowa. And one day I was walking one day. I had I used to have a German shepherd mixed with a child. And um people, I mean, I just stopped this, people started talking. To me about my dog, and we talked for about a good while. He said, "Damn, say people down there, y'all just stop and talk to strangers like that." I said, "Yeah, yeah." So y'all talk, yeah, yeah. We talk to strangers like that. We have whole conversation with strangers. You know what? Kalisha ain't shit. It's way better women than um Lamar daughter. I don't really want to uh disrespect Kalisha because he seemed like 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 a good person. Despite of her damn daddy. So I don't really want to disrespect Kalisha. Then, you know, Kalisha, she be on the stuff I be on, like on the, on the law of attractions. I forgot about the white boy that pumped them more about them eggs and um toast and pancakes. He making videos all he make he's so busy making videos. He's so busy making videos to where he forgot to um make the pancakes and toast. And all uh, the white boy was gonna beat him up. And he was on video admitting that he was scared. He said, that's a big ass fucking white boy. That big ass white motherfucker like six foot five. I don't give a fuck. I'm six foot three. I'm six three. I don't give a fuck. A motherfucker be seven foot tall. Disrespecting me like that. If nothing else, I'll go get me a knife. I'll cut his ass up. Cut his ass up and go in here and mack on some more white bitches. You know, I like coming to Target because they have a better grade of women, black and white. Black and white, even the black women here, because a lot of these women come to Target, they be like the um the nurses and people like that. Professional. I don't really care for a professional woman, but I like a nurse. A nurse is professional, but she's a different kind of professional because she get her hands dirty and she like to get her mouth and her pussy dirty. So I like nurses, but this way you all your nurses. She like a damn nurse for that, but she old as fuck. Now she ain't no nurse. But still, um, yeah, Tarjay. Yeah, Tarjay. They get Tarjay. But um, like I say, um, I'm just in Target getting. I'm just in, just chilling. Cause some know what they be having some good. They have some nice T-shirts in Target. Sometimes they have some real nice T-shirts. So and real nice everything. I, I know where I buy my all my bath rugs at. All my towels the real bright colored bath rugs and stuff. So you go in my bathroom. It looked like you like you down in the Bahamas. I like I like bright colors. I want to be running over those ghetto shit. But well, somebody I like, I like being at Target sometimes too. But um, 
I'm just making a little video. I ain't gonna sit here and ramble on like this. I, Cause I really, I really ain't playing. I really plan to be on video maybe like two or three minutes. But yeah, Kirby, cuz Mr. Jackson, shut up. When I'm eating, I don't have an appetite. When I be working out, the days I work out, I don't have an appetite. The days I don't work out, I, I eat. I make up for the next day. The days, but when you work out, really when you work out, you do a real workout, your body temperature be so high to where you be burning, you be burning fat. And while you burning fat and while your temperature's up, you don't have an appetite. So if you ever know, like most people, they, they don't eat a lot in the summertime. So like so when your body temperature is, is high, your appetite is low. But before I went to the gym, I, I had, when I first when I first woke up this morning, I said, I'm gonna go to oh, IHOP and give me a big ass omelet. And then I was, I was at the Sam's Club. I was at the Sam's Club. And um, that nigga look good as fuck right there. That nigga know he look good, god damn. Anyway, I was at the Sam's Club. I bought me a slice of pizza and I was good. I'll be good to about five or six o'clock this evening. But anyway, talking about either or uh, Alabama, cause I made I made a video about the game. <laughs> well, I made a video about about the game, and um, uh, yeah. So I made a video about the game. They was mad, Mr. Jackson. You finna get five minutes, bro. You just you just dumb. I don't really care for whole foods. Food for one, they food is expensive. I like, I like, I, I go to Toes of Ground. I go, I go to Toes of Ground if I really want something to eat. Now one day, now one day, USA, they gonna, they gonna have them a nice football team, cause uh, most of the good football players come from Mobile anyway. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't care for these sandwiches, but somebody got some real nice sandwiches. I mean salads. God damn. Shit, you gotta wear these, these, these pants. In a blizzard, these things thick. Anyway, anyway, but anyway, I like I like coming to Target, and that's why I like to get my stuff from. I like to get my stuff from Target. Not really clothes, but they do be having nice clothes. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I'm rambling again. Let me get off of here.